It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to talk about firmware 3.0 for the Fuji X-H2S. Yes, this camera right here. Uh, TLDW, too long, didn't watch. If you have it, update this firmware straight away if you have this camera. If you don't have it, things you should know is the autofocus is significantly improved, and that's saying a lot. So it makes the camera a better value. And next, I'm gonna give you a bullet point list of the six noticeable improvements that Firmware 3.0 gives you. Then I'm gonna hop into more details about that. At the end, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to update the firmware. So here's a bullet point list of six noticeable improvements or additions with Firmware 3.0. Current subject detection function is improved. So the things that currently it could detect is improved. And next, two, they added a new subject category for insects and drone detection, that's right. Three, dynamic tracking performance enhance enhancement, that's relating to subjects in mo motion moving fast. Uh, four, the auto focusing speed has been improved to pick up clearer frames faster when the subject is out of focus and you're shooting. Five, support for the tripod grip, the TGBT1 has been added. This allows you to trigger the shutter and the video functions from the tripod grip slash vlog handle. Actually, you can also zoom in with the Fuji PTZ lenses, so that's improved. And then also the live view frame rate. This is number six. Live view frame rate uh, from the camera to the terminal has been improved when you're using the other accessory, the FTXH. All right, so for the rest of the video, I'm gonna summarize their six minute video in under two minutes. I'm gonna dive into more detail on each of those and then I'll close by showing the steps how to update the firmware. All right, um, I love the Fuji X-H2S. I switched from Canon, I sold my Canon R5 and I bought this for all my client work once I had had it for a while I knew could, I could trust it. But uh, feel free to jump forward to the how-to steps if you're just looking forward uh, for that and hop back in, rewatch the middle part if it's helpful. All right, so let's talk about subject detection enhancement by artificial intelligence. That's right, so currently you can uh, detect things like um, you know cars and bicycles, um, but what's gonna happen is in situations with backlighting or subjects looking sideways or there's small subjects like birds in the frame, the subject detection function can be used more than ever, so regardless of the scene, so you can trust it more. That's uh, improvement number one. So the next is a new subject category, kind of exciting for specific photographers and videographers, insect uh, subjects and drone detection, so newly added. But you have to know, um, this is in addition to face tracking, eye tracking, animal, bird, automobile, motorcycle, bike, airplane, and train, you have to know where to find it, very important. Insects can be detected by setting it to bird. Set it to bird for insect tracking. And drones, you can uh, find that under airplane. If you send an airplane, it'll detect and track drones. All right, number three, dynamic tracking performance enhancement by the improved AF algorithm. So the motion prediction algorithm has been improved. So it enables stable tracking of subjects moving at a high rate of frame, uh, high rate of speed in the frame. The autofocus focusing speed is also improved when continuous shooting. This started by simultaneously pressing the AF on button and the shutter release button when the camera's out of focus and the AF starts to focus at a faster rate than before. Even in situations where things are changing moment by moment like sports, um, so this improvement is gonna make it difficult, this is what they said, difficult to miss a shutter release opportunity even in situations where the sports uh, scene is changing from moment to moment. All right, so number four improvement, tripod grip has been made available. So when the camera and the TGBT1 are connected via Bluetooth, you can shoot images and movies while holding the grip, as well as use the zoom function on those PTZ, uh, those new uh, Fuji PTZ lenses. So um, just a, a cool, cool concept. I'm gonna probably invest in a PTZ lens coming up and test this, uh, as well as add those, uh, the tripod grip, uh, which I first fell in love with with the Sony ZV-1, ZV-E10. I really love that function on the Sony camera, so it's cool to have that vlog handle for Fuji. So those uh, PTZ lenses are the XF18-120, to that's an F4, and the XC15-45, to which is an F3.5 to uh, 5.6. Next, the file transmitter, uh, the FTXH, that accessory, the performance has been enhanced because the live view frame rate from the camera to the terminal, like if you're watching on a laptop, has been approved when connecting with the FTXH. So uh, make sure you update to firmware 3.0 for the vlog handle or the, um, the wireless transmitter. Um, it kind of sits on the bottom of the camera like a 
a battery grip. All right, something else to be uh, aware of is there's a menu title change. So when you're in the menu uh, and you've upgraded to firmware 3.0, image order transfer sorry image transfer order has been renamed communication status and so you're going to go to screen setup display communi uh, display custom setting communication status and then you can set the image transfer order um, communication status can now be used to toggle image transfer order and connected dev device displays on or off simultaneously uh, there's one other change in the menu it's you should see a bluetooth device list edition Bluetooth device list has been added um, in the Bluetooth slash smartphone setting, and um, uh, that's under the network USB setting menu. So um, of course there's bug fixes that are always in there, but they actually named one, and that's, they said there's a certain freezing that causes before or after autofocus is performed. That's been improved in other minor bugs. All right, X-H2S, awesome, awesome camera. And so um, I'm gonna share some images uh, while we transition to the how-to steps that show you um, just how good like bicycle tracking is, awesome. And then also you get this um, subject tracking, of course, when people are speaking at event photography, things I love to do. Um, all right, 